Thank you. It's interesting the stories you hear about shearing blokes. Some of these old blokes would tell me when they were shearing. Because of the six o'clock closing back in those days, I was talking to Duke, like, um, I think they called five to six to swill out. You got the pump, you got as many schooners you could in, in that hour. Um, poor old Kevin Rudd would have died with his leg in the ear for about binge drinking if he turned that back then. But they were telling me that in the, like the, uh, in the shearing shed there's a catching pen, like there's one there, and there's one on that side, they're going out to get the sheep. And in the middle is this board, and there's a clock there. And a lot of the old blokes, they were saying, when they get there, they, the, in the last run, which was half past three to half past five, they'd start off and they'd go running in and out. And every time they come out the pen, they'd just push the clock a little bit further forward. So they'd knock off at half past five and get the pub at quarter two. They thought it was a pretty good trick. And my best mate is still my best mate, even after this song, because, um, he was the bloke that was in the rusty ute and he was the bloke that went shearing and all those sort of things. And he had a ute and it really was buggered. And even if he had a new one, he could bugger it quickly. Because um, he went to trade his in and when he went to the bloke at the local garage, he said, um, you know, I want to trade my ute in. And the, the bloke said he'd stuffed. All he'd offer him was a box of spanners for the trading. That's the part about that that was unusual was about two weeks later, the bloke who got the ute thought he'd still been done it because it wasn't even worth a box of spanners. But he bought this crossbred ram that he paid 800 bucks for. And he only had it for a few months. Had an altercation with a disobedient dog. And in the ram and ground, in the dam and ground. Anyhow, this is the story. That ram had shagged a suitcase and he had an attitude. Didn't really bother me if he did what he had to do. But it's not a good combination. When a ram thinks like that And a dog who thinks he knows it all And won't shut up and won't come back Well it started out as a simple job Just to move a mob of ewes Shouldn't take long and I'll be home We got heaps of jobs to do It's when the dog spotted the ram Just to show him who was boss He barked and then he nipped his leg And that's when the ram took off 800 bucks a month for the day. And this stupid friggin' dog who wouldn't listen to a word I said. Well, I yelled and whistled, waved my arms, I swore till I was hoarse. That's when the ram plunged in the dam, he sunk. It's worse. Down to me jocks, boots on the back like Perkins, I dived in. All I could see was dollar signs and a ram that couldn't swim. I dragged him back to the bank, I was bugging and he was too. That's when the school bus went past and the kids yelled, good on you. <laughs> well, mouth to mouth might bring him back, so I cut me hands and blew. I swore and cursed and tried again, but there was nothing I could do. 800 bucks a month, lying dead on the dam, and this stupid but contented look on the face of my dog, Sam. So wet as a shag, I grabbed me clothes and headed back off home. I left that dog back on the bank, bastard can get home on his own. I met my wife at the door to her, it was quite a shock. Spitting, cursing, swearing, standing there in the jocks. Cause I thought a little sympathy wouldn't go astray. And she just laughed until she cried, then started up again. And as I stumbled to the shower, I saw old Sam come through the gate. And what I called that dog, my wife said, it was an absolute disgrace. So all shared up off to the pub, I only made one mistake. Too many schooners later, I went and told me mates. And I've never lived it down and it still gets a laugh today. Though they're a little careless with the truth, just for the story's sake. Cause they always tend to spin that yarn about the builder and the goat. And I shouldn't blame old Sam, cause it's not the poor dog's fault. So the moral to the story, some advice you might like to take. If you go down on a ram, never tell your mates. <laughs> Is it